Alright, so welcome to my first ever part two of a quiz video. I'm assuming you came here from part one, and we're jumping into question 14, choose a destination. The first choice is Edinburgh, Scotland. I like that they have the place name below the picture. This place looks like it has vampires in it, like, I'm a big fan of, like, the whole fog. I like garlic too, but I don't know if I could, like, survive a vampire place. I don't know if vampires are Scottish. Is that a thing? Are there any famous Scottish vampires? But, you know, I'm a big fan of pointy buildings. I'm a big fan of, like, bricks. So overall, this looks pretty nice. Second option is Okinawa, Japan. Uh, on first blush, you didn't tell me. I would think this was, like, Hawaii or something. I know Japan is an island nation, so a lot of it is obviously going to be, like, seashore. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if that's just what I've been seeing, what I've been consuming but media but I'm kind of surprised you don't see more like beach seashore stuff with like Japan related content it's more normally all like urban sprawl kind of big city things which makes sense given the population density but still that being said I'm not a big fan of the sea and not a big fan of water or beaches or anything like that so I can't really see myself enjoying a place like this like I know a lot of Japan is beautiful I'm not trying to diss Japan but like this photo in particular doesn't really appeal to me. The third option is New York City, United States, which I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure based on the picture, I just get the feeling I would be hit by a car almost immediately, which would, I don't know, might actually be kind of fun. It would make the trip a lot more memorable, you know? They should have that for tourists in places. You just like have sidewalks where they just like hit you with a car and you can like send dramatic photos to your friends and family and like you could get out of work. I think I have a business idea right there. The fourth option is Aiguisheim in France, which it has a strange name. Like I wouldn't actually mind living in France. I've been there before. I know a bit of French, you know, as in more than just like the barely trying Canadian public school kind of French that you learn, but being said, the building design, at least in this photo, is kind of odd. Like, I wouldn't mind living in France in general, but I don't know if Aiguisheim would be the place for me in France. I mean, I don't know what the countryside is like in general in this part of France, but anyways. The fifth option is the nearest fair, which first off, given the current restrictions, I don't think is a good idea. Besides, that looks like it's exploding or there's like a particle reaction or something going on there. Like, I'm pretty sure if I walked into that, I would just be like vaporized. The sixth option is the Van Gogh Museum, Amsterdam, Netherlands, which given the direct presence of Starry Night in a previous question, I'm kind of starting to wonder if like Van Gogh is a 2010s subculture. And for my thoughts, see like my old, what I said about museums in a previous question. The last option is Comic-Con, which I've actually been to a Comic-Con before. I, it was nice, but I don't know if I would like thrive there for more than a couple days. So, but my choice is kind of a toss up between Edinburgh and Scotland and New York City in the US. Which is more a question, do I want to die by like a vampire or getting hit by a car? Which I think getting hit by a car would like suit me better, as in like my personality, so I'm gonna go with New York. Despite Edinburgh probably being a more scenic place, at least given the places I've been. Question 15 is which of these did you get in trouble the most for doing in class? The first option is listening to music. I'm assuming this is supposed to be taking place in a high school. I don't know how you'd get away with listening to music when you're not supposed to, like in class. I mean, I guess the whole idea of the question is that you didn't, but like, I don't know how you would even, why you would bother trying, given that, at least in the schools I've been, I went to a pretty small school, so, like, you would get caught immediately, is the thing, so. Question two is being on your phone, which, uh, yes, as in most people. Third option is playing cards against humanity with friends, which, I mean, who's gonna bust out a deck of cards against humanity, like, mid-class? Once again, it seems a little too flagrant of a violation, at least in the context I grew up in. The fourth option is reading, which all of these, I don't know, like, how you would be able to, like, even get the chance to risk it in a class. The fifth option is sleeping. I have trouble sleeping, so I'm not gonna li be liable to fall asleep in high school. I wasn't. Like, I don't know what it was, but when, like, when I was, like, 16, 17 especially, I could, like... I would sleep once every two, three days and just be fine, so I don't know. The last option is coloring slash drawing, 
which I mean, I started drawing really like a few months ago. So I'm going with being on your phone. That's probably thinking about the whole like trying to get a less common result. I don't think that's going to do me any favors for that, but it's what I got to go with, really. Question 16 is pick a shoe choose a shoe the first option is some like i don't know what military boots are like i'm assuming that's not like military per se but just any kind of boot i don't know what it is with me but any kind of boot like that in particular gives me kind of military vibes and i'm not into that the second option it's like a normal looking shoe almost then it's got like a huge platform and it looks stained overall like the whole drip aesthetic is not something i'm into third option is it looks like candy i don't know how to describe these shoes but they've got these colorful beads that m make me think of candy like i would just get too hungry and try to like eat my shoes if i was wearing these i don't know if it's that different from normal shoes with me but still you know the temptation would just be too strong the fourth option is a kind of sporty running shoe which, I mean, I didn't have great memories in gym class, but overall I go for the more running shoe kind of style, so it's better than the previous three at least. The fifth option are like fish shoes. I don't know why, but they look like, it just looks like fish scales to me. I don't want people to think that I like wear fish, fishes. I don't know. It's not for me. I'm not into fish scale boots. The next option once again we have like pictures of milk being poured and then just like this big white stain that i'm not into at all each of these shoes is worse than the last the, we've got this almost we've got this kind of glitzy almost once again kind of fishy looking gummy shoe with a massive platform and a high heel which is a terrible combination. Like, I'm pretty sure I would die if I wore these. Like, any kind of heel, I would just trip and fall and just break my head open immediately. The next shoe, I think these are the eighth option, are these weird, like, brown elf shoes. Like, I don't... I'm not an elf. I'm not into that, you know? And then we have two different pairs of, like, leather latex black shoes with heels that I am not into like i get the aesthetic they're going for but they just look so goofy i don't especially like the toes they're always so pointy it almost looks like like a crow face or something which i like crows but i don't want to wear them on my feet we also have um doll shoes which i don't think would fit me and we have these orange i think those are converses which converses the overall aesthetic of isn't bad per se but orange is not really a good color for shoes and in the picture they're combining them with like really ugly pants and it's just not leaving a good impression for me we also have the image of those shoes just shuts off my brain and not in like a fun way like why would you just, why would you do that to yourself, you know? And then our last pair of shoes are just the most boring, like, imaginable. I guess I'm going with the, um, sporty shoes. I'm not a jock, but they're the only shoes that don't make me want to, like, gouge my eyes out. So that's a big plus for them, I guess. Question 17 is moon constellations, galaxies, or sun? They're all really nice in their own way, aside from maybe the sun. I'm not a big fan of the sun. I think we'd better just floating endlessly through the cold void of space. But galaxies, I think, overall are the most stunning. Like, constellations only make sense from the point of view of Earth. I, like, I mean, I guess there would be other constellations from different points of view, but you don't get to, like, have the same context as you do with the Earth ones. And the moon is very nice, but it's, again, it's kind of Earth-centric, so I'm going with constellations. I mean, galaxies. The moon is very nice, very pretty, but once again, like, I think it would be nicer, like, with, like, the two moons of Mars or something like that, where you have, like, multiple interesting moons. That being said, I know the moon is, like, our moon is particularly big, which makes it really nice, but I'm going to give a slight edge to galaxies just as the overall aesthetic. I was actually thinking of making my YouTube username... I was thinking of making a new account with, like, Galaxy in the name. I didn't end up going for it, but it could have happened, you know? Question 18 is, what era would you like to shop in? And we have some options I'm not really 
knowledgeable about. We've got 18th century, 40s to 70s, which I'm pretty sure is a pretty big, like, period. Like I said, I don't know too much about fashion, but I'm pretty sure there was a lot of changes in that era. I mean, I guess the 18th century is a pretty big era too, but, the, you know, they didn't have as much trade and that sort of thing to diversify their faction fashion they didn't have as much like ability like access to resources as we do now so i can't imagine it changed as fast back then we also have the 80s and the 90s and two options for the 2000s a hot topic and japan i don't really even know enough about 2000s era fashion this leaves us with mid 2010s current era is fine in the distant future i don't think i could get away with wearing future clothes in the present time, assuming there even are clothes, like, assuming there is, like, humanity to make clothes, I should say, in the future. I don't know what the differences are between mid-2010s fashion and current fashion, so I'm just gonna go with current, I guess. I mean, you don't, also, you don't need to time travel to get access to older clothes, like, I'm pretty sure there's clothes from the 2000s and before that still exist in the present day. So the whole snarky time travel comment is a bit redundant, but overall, I'm good with current clothing at least. Question 19 is witches, vampires, or princesses? And I've kind of disavowed all of these in previous questions. I would have to give an edge hover to vampires. Witches are too ambiguous. You know, what they can do, what kind of context they work in. And I'm not a royalist. I'm not a big fan of princesses because of that. So I'm gonna have to go with vampires, I guess. Question 20 is the obligatory song lyrics question. I don't think I can read out all of all of these, but the first option is Hello Kitty, she's my favorite friend. She's my only friend. I know no matter who abandons me, she'll be there till the end, yada yada. First off, I don't know why Hello is in brackets. I don't know what song this is, but I don't like the whole edgy Hello Kitty aesthetic. It's like I mentioned in a previous video with, like, Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why you have to, like, do a dark subversion of, like, some form of media in order to be cool. I don't like it. Second option is, um, Money Machine by 100 Gax, which I will admit that's the only song here that I know, so I'm going with that one by default right here and now. I mean, besides, it's a really good song. I'm a big fan of 100 Gax. Third option is Acid Green Aquamarine. The girls are dancing in the sand, and I throw my cellular device in the water. Did like an alien write this? Who calls phones the cellular devices? And what's up with like the random colors at the beginning? I don't. I'm not a big fan of beaches. I'm not a big fan of like acid colors. The fourth option is so still, so dark all over Europe. And I ride down the highway 101 by the side of the ocean headed for sunset, for the kingdom come. I think there's too many periods in that quote, and I don't get what it means either, so I'm not a big fan of that. Fifth option is remember how we used to party up all night? Sneaking out and looking for a taste of the real life. Mm. This sounds like it's from some song that would be playing like during like a Hunger Games knockoff, kind of like lower, low common denominator like media for children. I don't teens, I guess, not children in general, but still, it's not for me. Next option is we fell in love in October. That's why I love fall. I don't think there should be a comma there, but once again, these lyrics seem kind of generic, and I, I don't even feel like reading out the rest of the lyrics. These are all 100 gacks are good. I am going to just stick with what I know, you know? Question 21 is you've opened a door to the end of this quiz. What's on the other side? The first option is like a gay tunnel, which I appreciate. I'm glad we have representation for every sort of tunnel in media. Like I would vibe in this kind of tunnel too, like it's kind of neon aesthetic. It's genuinely really nice looking, so that's good. The second option is what appears to be a creep shot of like, I don't know if that's a living room or I was thinking maybe like someone's bedroom. It feels weird. The house, the inside, I don't know if the lights are just kind of pink or what, but overall it's not great in either sense. The third option is another like idyllic countryside except with like random glowing lights. Like I'm 
This is more in the whole astigmatism aesthetic. I don't think you should be like glamorizing people's vision problems. I'm not a big fan of the countryside. The fourth option is like, I don't know how to describe this. I could be wrong, but this reminds me of like a scene from Mulholland Drive. It could be from Mulholland Drive. If it is, that's, I'm a big fan of David Lynch. That'd be nice, but I don't have the confidence to say for certain that it is so i don't really feel comfortable picking that option if it was i would go for it but i don't know and the fifth option is a vaporwave kind of landscape but like no offense to the person who made this but the rendering quality seems to be a bit on the cheaper side and i'm not a big fan of vaporwave landscapes overall like I don't know if I'm just not old enough to have nostalgia for the time period it's kind of trying to convey the next option is uh, some sort of like public transport at sunrise or sunset. Probably sunset. I like sunset and the period just after it as like in general, like being outside. But there's this one time during it, it's not great to look at. And combined with like the bright lights of the interior of the cabin of whatever this is, it's not a great like contrast, at least to me. Next option, I don't know if this is like the Sistine Chapel with like an Instagram filter or if it's like an AI generated image, but I don't like the whole vibe of it. Like it's kind of, as I was saying in the beginning, it's got that kind of unicorn plush unicorn aesthetic, which I'm not a big fan of. Next option is like a city street. Like it looks like the outside of that crypto hipster cafe. Like I like that it's clearly been raining in this photo, but... The sky seems a bit too bright. I, although that could be the camera like auto balancing, but that being said, we're meant to be judging the overall aesthetic of the picture. So it's n another way we're gonna have to detect points. And the last option looks like the inside of a church maybe, but kind of like a weird neo-modernist designed church. I'm a supporter of LGBTQ rights. I'm going with a gay tunnel for the representation, if nothing else. Although it is the nicest aesthetic just overall. Once again, we have a D&D alignment question. I've answered this before, literal as is. So I'm going, once again, I'm going with, should I go with neutral evil, I think, is the right answer for me. All right, question 23 is what would you like to drink? I'm sorry if my family is like being loud, but there's not really anything I can do about that. Our first option is tea. I like tea, but what is up with this photo? Like they set their glass, their mug directly on an open book with flowers. Like why would you set your cup of tea on the page of a book? Like what kind of psychopath do you have to be to do this? Like even for like an aesthetic picture like they're going for, I still like whoever set this photo up should be sent to jail. I don't want to be overly dramatic or harsh, but I am right. They should be sent to jail for this picture. The second option is goth water, which I really like the aesthetics of it, but I don't trust it as like a food product. Like I thought it like stained your teeth black, which actually can look cool, but it's not something I want it to happen to me every time I drink water. Like I would have some of that to like pose with to carry around as like my aesthetic. You could use it as a good conversation starter as well, but the question is what would you like to drink? And I wouldn't want to actually drink that. The third option is iced coffee, which I don't mind iced coffee. I know a lot of people are like elitist about coffee and I do prefer straight black coffee, but I get it. I don't mind it. That being said, how sweet it can be kind of limits when I want it. And also, I'm not a big fan of Starbucks, like as a brand. Their stuff tastes honestly okay, but you can usually get better stuff just even with just the cheaper like no-name brands at a store or like just smaller brands. So besides, I don't want to like maybe reveal too much about myself, but I kind of see drinking coffee, at least in some sense, as an act of masochism. Like I think if I'm going to drink a coffee, I kind of want it to hurt at least in some sense. And having it all done up fancy kind of takes away the point of it, you know? Like I would, I would maybe go for iced coffee if you get like punched in the face every time you take a sip or something like that would even it out like i don't know how much i even react to caffeine it's more just like the 
pain of the bitterness that really wakes you up. That's the fun part. The fourth option is monster, which I know makes you, gives you kidney stones. At least that's the meme. So I'm not, I am not really pro kidney stones on my channel. I hope that's not going to cause anyone likes any controversy. I hope everyone's okay with me having my own opinion on the subject, but I don't like kidney stones, and so I'm not really capable of going for this answer. Fifth option is funky goth cocktail, and I'm assuming this is alcoholic, which I don't like alcoholic cocktails in general. Like, this is kind of similar to the goth water in that I like the aesthetic, I like the presentation, but overall I would just rather have, like, something more direct, you know? And our last option is an insane milkshake. I don't know how you judge the mental state of a milkshake, but like iced coffee, I think the sweetness kind of limits what contexts you can have it in. Like, you can have tea, like, in basically any context in which you're thirsty. I mean, aside, I guess, from it being, like, a really hot day. Like, but you can't have, like, iced coffee or an insane milkshake for every beverage you drink. So, despite the war crime that is the photo, I am going to go with tea. I hope you can forgive me for that photo. Question 24 is, so you're a fairy now? You're welcome. Choose your wings. I don't really know how to comment on wings, per se. They're all really shiny. They're all kind of... I don't want, like, the two pure-looking ones, like this one that's currently in the bottom left, which really leaves me with, um, on the top left or the bottom right on this screen. The top left... The fringes, like, on the edges that are all ragged, I get the aesthetic is going for it, but it looks kind of, like, frilly. There's nothing wrong with frills, but it, they don't really appeal to me, per se, which kind of leaves me with this bottom one. It reminds me of that one Pokemon, like, Dragalge, I think it's pronounced. I'm not too up on the new games, but it has a good aesthetic, and it kind of, that's what they're going for with this picture, so... Question 25 is where do you live? I don't know if it's the camera angle or not, but these houses are all like, they all look tiny. I'm pretty sure at least a couple of them are made out of Play-Doh. This first house, I don't know what the texture of the walls are supposed to be, but it makes me think of kind of like a prison, which isn't necessarily as bad as you'd think. The second option, I don't see it making like sense. Like either the door isn't visible, or there's two doors, or maybe there's four, or maybe the door's on the other side. But I wouldn't be able to navigate this house. I couldn't live in this, potentially. The third house, I'm not always, like, an anti-pink, but it's really gaudy looking. I couldn't manage that. And also, I don't know why, but for some reason it kind of looks like a gnome house. I don't even know what a gnome house is, but that's what this is. This is a gnome house, and I'm not a gnome, so I don't want to live here. The fourth option... Once again, given the photo quality and all that, I can't really tell for sure what's going on. I like the sod. I think this might be a real house. Given, like, I think it's supposed to be benches, I kind of can't tell what's going on in this photo, so it makes it hard for me to judge the quality of the house. I like the sod, but I don't know enough about the house to commit to it. The fifth one, once again, looks like it's made out of Play-Doh, and aside from that, it's genuinely just a pretty boring design, so I'm not into that. And the sixth one is also pink and just with a worse, I don't know if it's a worse shape than the third one or not, but neither one is good, so I'm gonna go with the prison house, I guess. And the last question, as usual, is a text box. It says, this is the real end, which I can tell based on the number of questions. They say, give me another 2010's quiz idea if you've got an idea. If not, tell me your current favorite character. Which, I mean, a lot of this quiz seemed to be going for more edgy aesthetics, so I think the quiz maker should lean into that with the next quiz. I'd say, like, pick your 2010's natural disaster. I wanted a kind of calamity kind of general theme, but I couldn't think of a better way to word it. I mean, at least having a natural disaster just kind of narrows it down. I think I'm sure you could go on Wikipedia and get a list and go from there. And let's see what we got. I got 2014 grunge slash soft grunge. I mean, I was pretty young in 2014, but I don't remember grunge being a thing back then. The right up here is you're a tad bit stuck in 2014 to 2016. You look at screenshots and gifs of Effie Stone and feel seen. You've pinned and posted hundreds of purple, blue, and black pictures of girls in combat boots, song lyrics over photographs, urban areas, and colored bath water. 
I most definitely have not done that. They say you may even be into Arctic Monkeys, 1975, Marina, The Neighborhood, and or Lord. No, I didn't mind um, Melodrama by Lord, but I think they're referring to like Pure Heroin as a grunge album. I wasn't a big fan of that. And I explicitly chose not Arctic Monkeys, so I don't know where they're getting that from. And I did get the most popular option, but given the option, it's probably the closest to my actual aesthetic. I don't know what makes an e-boy or not, but overall, as always, five stars. I was kind of expecting the second half to be comparable to the first. I mean, I guess looking at the time, it's not too far off. It's probably going to be a bit shorter than the first. I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you this, you'll know or not, but still, this was a long one. I don't know why this ended up going for so long, but I hope you enjoyed, I hope, I hope everything recorded. This was a long session to record this, but yeah, I had fun. Yeah.